Where are all the people that say we are finished? Where are all the people that slated the signings? The manager? Where are you? Because I cannot hear you. Because I can't hear you. What a... Ow, oh, drop my pen. Just drop my pen. <laughs> Full time from Turf Moor. Burnley 2. Spurs 5. What a performance from Spurs this afternoon at Turf Moor. Honestly, all the people that slated the players, the players, the manager, I don't, honestly, you're, you've, all, you've all been embarrassed. You've all been embarrassed. You have all been embarrassed. You've all been embarrassed, seriously. You know what? I don't, I just, you can say, oh, it's only September. It's only Burnley. It's game week four. We beat Man United 2 0 a couple of weeks ago, and we made Man United look like Southampton from last season. We made Man United look like Salford. Honestly, this team is cooking. And Postacoglu, he is. Different gravy. He's different gravy. You know what? I don't care about Conte anymore. Mourinho. Nuno. I don't care. Pochettino is dead. I'm loving Big Ange instead. You know what? I don't care. Because this team. This team is back. We. I have got. Literally. We've got. Every Spurs fan watching this video, we've got our Tottenham back. We have. The football we are playing is amazing. Literally, Paul Merson said on live British television at the start of the season that we would finish mid-table. And now, and out of a possible 12 points, because obviously if you, win every, if you win every game so far, you get 12 points. Out of every game... Out of a maximum of twelve points we could have we could have at the moment, we have ten. We have ten. And I, I swear I saw a stat. Can't remember what the stat was. I can't remember what the stat was, but it was like oh, what was it? It was like and Postal Coglu is is like the Oh I can't remember. Let me try and find it on Twitter quickly. Let me try to find it on Twitter quickly. Someone's a bit angry. Hmm. It might be really loud, but wait. Let me let me find the star. Oh my god! No, I don't want to. Let me try to find that star. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it on, I think it's on Spurs web actually. I think it's on Spurs web. Hold on. There it is. This is the most point. So, this is on Twitter, by the way. Most points won by Spurs after the opening four games of the top flight league season. Harry Harry Redknapp has the most points with 12 points in the 2009-2010 season. Then it's Postal Coglu. He is second. Honestly, the guy is a beast. The guy is cooking. Honestly, I don't care if it's September. I don't care if it's game week four. I don't care. We are back. Spurs are back. Literally, last season, we had, you know, Conte all this defensive crap. We were getting, we were getting humbled by teams like Forest, Bournemouth, Leicester. 
Leeds, you name it. Well, maybe not Leeds, but all these teams that were bad. And now we're and now we're smoking Brentford, Man United, Bournemouth, Burnley. Honestly, Sheffield United. Honestly, I can't wait for that game. I've, I've, I I am I am one hundred percent sure that we are gonna beat Sheffield United. I am I am one hundred percent sure we are beating Sheffield United. I reckon yeah, because after Sheffield United, we got Arsenal and Liverpool. Yeah, I reckon we could go to Arsenal and beat them. The way we're playing at the moment, we could beat Arsenal. The way we're playing at the moment, we can beat Liverpool. We can. Because the football we are playing at the moment is absolutely amazing. It is. It is absolutely amazing. And it, I literally, I've, it, and it, it is just funny. I'm not shouting, by the way. It is just funny that all these people say at the start of the season they're not going to finish in the top 10. They're finished without Kane. Postacoglu who? Vicario who? The doji who? I'm just, I'm just laughing. I don't, I, know, I don't care if it's game week four. I don't care. All those people saying that we're, we're going to be absolutely screwed. We're going to lose to Burnley. We're going to get battered by United. Look at us now, because we we are proving everybody wrong. We are proving everybody wrong. We are proving everybody wrong. We're proving everybody wrong. That performance today was absolutely amazing. I think the first 15 minutes wasn't actually too great. Sorry about that, Sophie talking about me. Apparently, I'm being too loud when I'm not. But yeah, anyway, the first 15 minutes wasn't actually that bad. Well, no, sorry, the first 15 minutes was really. It wasn't. The first 15 minutes wasn't too great because we went 1 0 down. You know, I can't remember. I can't remember who played right back. I can't remember if it was. um. Poro or um, Emerson, I can't remember who it was, but you know the play literally just stood there. What and just watched them score. It just you just who played right. I can't remember who played right back, but whoever it was just stood there and watched them score. But then I think, I think ever since we made when Son made it one one, we went like that. We turned on and we actually started playing Ange Postecoglou football. Honestly, Madison yet again. Another 10 out of 10 performance. It, it's Sorry, it's not James Madison. It's James Madadonna. The guy is a, the guy is world class. Call me bias who you dare. Call me bias. I don't care. James Madison signing of the transfer window. He is signing of the transfer window. Forget Mountain Liverpool. Forget Caicedo. Forget all these other big players. James Madison to Tottenham Hotspur for 40 grade British pounds is signing of the transfer window. He is signing of the transfer window. He is. The boy is amazing. I bet Leicester fans are absolutely gutted that, that, that he left them. Because so far, it's been amazing. Sar and Basuma, they didn't start under Conte. And they're proving Conte. They're proving to Conte why they should have started. Both of them were really good today. Son was absolutely world-class. A hat-trick for him today. Normally, we struggle at Turf Moor. But the last couple of years, we've actually kind of struggled at Turf Moor. But today, we rocked up. And we absolutely... Literally, we rocked up today. And then an hour and a half later, we left with three points and all jolly. Honestly, you know, looking at our next couple of games, Sheffield United, we are beating them. We are beating Sheffield United. I am so confident that we are beating Sheffield United. Arsenal, I reckon we'll get a draw. Liverpool, I reckon I reckon we could beat Liverpool. I actually think we could. I don't think we'll I don't think we beat Arsenal. Well it depends actually. But I reckon I reckon we at least draw at Arsenal. I reckon we at least draw. I don't think we lose, but I think we draw. And you know what? I'll take a point at Arsenal. I'm t and I'm telling you now. I reckon we. I reckon we. Act we could beat Liverpool. The way we are playing at the moment, we could beat Liverpool. We could. We actually could. 
honestly, that just that that whole performance was amazing. That whole performance was just fantastic. Madison was brilliant. And by, by the way, the car made an absolutely outstanding save. I can't remember who it was, but literally it was going right into like the top corner -ish. and he tipped it over the bar and everything. It was like in the air, tipped over the what it was an absolutely great save. But uh, honestly, you know, Ch Chelsea fans are crying because they lost the forest. Literally, I've seen loads of videos last year about Young Kipper, that SD, PSD guy. I've, so, I've seen loads of videos of um, Chelsea fans saying, fuck the five back, la la. Honestly, it's just funny. And I'm just, I'm just so glad that Spurs are actually playing football. We're actually playing attacking football. And, and, it's, and it's not this defensive crap that we're used to. I'll see you after the international break. I'm going to go enjoy my evening.